I thought things were low end of Wenger. Wow! You know, it just frustrates that it is a fucking sad state of affairs. Um, I know they've got the League Cup final in East. I think we've got far too much from them. Um, and I think we will beat them. I'm beyond my team. I don't give a shit who the fuck you, man. In fact, I know we will be. Up the Arsenal. Hey, and welcome to Gunners TV. And as you can see, lacquer out for season. It's looking like his hamstring is completely gone. So, our main man, the man who I never thought I'd be saying this, because I didn't think he had it in him, has been leading the line, leading the boys, showing what a captain should be showing. Leadership. Everything, energy, goals. You know, apparently, you know, he's impressing the young, you know, giving the youngsters um, extra energy and training. He's out for the season. What are we going to do? I know Eddie and Katia come on and equalised, but come on. Are we really going to go with Pepe and one side Saka and Eddie and Katia? To get us to the to the final of the Europa League, it's nothing. This is nothing personal to Eddie and Katia, but he's not good enough. He's not good enough. He might good. He might be good enough to get a late equaliser against Fulham. And by the way, Arsenal should have won that game. Yeah, I mean, I fell asleep. I fell asleep halfway through it, as you can see. You know. Uh, it was it was boring. Um, Arsenal came at them for the first twenty. Smith had a goal disallowed. Right, so it was offside. The sucker's goal, man. I should have stood, in my opinion. And this is where VAR have got it wrong. That goal should have stood. Arsenal should have won the game two one. And you know. The video I made the other day about the teams we've got left, the points we should pick up. Well, that's two drops already. Just for, just forget about the Premier League. Yeah. Just forget. I know we've got our player players into form. But by doing that, we risk injury. Now... It's a tough call. It's a tough call now for Arteta. What does he do? Uh, for me, Martinelli is the obvious choice to play in that role. As if, if Aubameyang's not back from his malaria scare, and God bless him, I hope he's back and fit and well. I'm sure Aubameyang will be back. I have a good feeling he will be. But if he's not, especially for the first leg, he probably won't be. And he probably wouldn't be fit enough anyway. Um, it's going to have to be Pepe on one side, Saka on the other, and Martinelli through the middle. It's that simple. And I think Martinelli is good enough to do the job. Thank God we got Martinelli. Now, if... Mikel Arteta chooses to leave Martinelli on the bench and go with Eddie and Ketia. Then Arsenal fans out there, I'm afraid we will not reach the final of the, the Europa League. Surely, surely, Mikel Arteta has enough football knowledge and wisdom about him to know who the better player is. Come on. Anyway, it's been a short, disappointing Gunners TV. Um, another disappointing day at the office. Gutted, absolutely gutted. Fulham, you know, they're more or less relegated. They're not going to get out of it. But they've grinded out a point at the Emirates. What a surprise. You know what I mean? It does surprise me. Um, their goalkeeper played really well, by the way. So, fair play to him. Um, and it was a penalty. And again, it was a mistake from Gabriel. Oh, 
giving the penalty away. Sloppy. Sloppy from Gabriel. Gabriel is our best defender and is going to be our best defender for years to come. But maybe Pablo Mari would have been a better choice today. Or, you know, until David Luiz is back, maybe Mari's going to have to be the man in there. Anyway, we're going to have to chop and change and keep our players fit. For Villarreal, what it doesn't matter who we've got in the Premier League. Forget about it, yeah. For Arsenal fans, forget about the Premier League now. It's all about the Europa League. It's do or die. See you later, guys. Up the Arsenal.